forget to subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. Share them around. Hit the like button. Do whatever you please. Get the message out there. Thanks for watching. Here we go. Question of the day. I love potatoes and rice, but if I gave them up and replaced them with more fruit, of which I already eat quite a lot, would I see an improvement in my health, fitness, and health? So basically, the question is: If you swap starches for fruit, will you see an improvement? Yes, you will definitely. Only, only if you get enough calories, though. Because if you don't get enough calories, let's say eating three thousand calories from rice and potatoes, and then you drop the fruit and you're eating two thousand calories, your performance has got to drop right off. Your health's going to drop right off because you're not getting enough glucose to your body for your body's needs, and your immune system's going to crash. And there's another another possibility. If people are eating 3,000 calories from rice and potatoes, but then adding a lot of salt on there, a lot of oil and animal products on there, then you're going to have uh, some health issues there. And that's why people blame starches for weight gain because they're adding cream and oil and butter and bits of dead chicken and bits of stinky dead fish on there and bits of cow, the, the gluteal muscles from the cow, the cow's ass, they're adding that to their rice and pasta, and that's going to give you health issues. So if you eat rice and pasta low-fat vegan style, it's going to be great. If you eat rice and pasta high-fat standard Australian diet or standard American diet or paleo primal diet style, you're going to have some health issues. You're going to get fat, but it's not from the rice and beans and potatoes and corn and barley and quinoa and aromanth and millet. It's from the grease you're putting on there. The fat you eat, the fat you wear. If you're eating a diet high in saturated fat, you're going to increase your cholesterol levels, you're going to have heart issues. If you're eating a diet high in cholesterol, your cholesterol is going to go through the roof, your body has to process that, you live out the process that, you get excess cholesterol, damaging your endothelium cells and your blood lining and your arteries, things like that. You're going to have some issues. You're going to have issues. So we want to have high carb, low fat. So fruit, let's say we get 3,000 calories from fruit, 3,000 calories from starches, the fruit's going to be better. It's got more nutrients, it digests better. This is still awesome, but this is just going to be better performance, definitely. Only if you get enough calories though. So many people come in this lifestyle going, wow, that makes sense. Fruit makes sense. Fruit's awesome. They fucking under eat big time. I can rattle off a whole list of names of people who go, oh, I tried that raw food thing, 80, 10, 10, 8, 1, 1, high carb, low fat, raw vegan thing, you know, low fat, raw vegan, I tried all that, it didn't work. Because you're fucking starving yourself. Starving doesn't work. Starving never works. So what people do is they go, oh, the concept's great. So they grab the concept, but they have no understanding about calories. They go out their mates, they normally used to have a 3,000 calorie pizza, now they bring like two bananas out and a couple of lettuce leaves, they're having like a 300 calorie meal when they used to have like 3,000, 5,000 calories. They wonder why their sex drive dropping off, their strength dropping off, because they're getting not enough calories. They're eating healthier foods, but it doesn't matter if you're eating healthier if you don't get enough fuel in the tank. It's like you can have a car, you can put the best fuel in the car, but if you don't put enough in, it's going to break down. You're going to run out of gas. The question is, is, is fruit better than starches? 100%, definitely. Only if you get enough calories. That's why I drum it into people. If you can't get enough fruit, have your backup plan. Your rice, potatoes, starch, corn, miller, aromat, quinoa, whatever. Starches work for you. High carb, low fat, low salt, vegan. That's where it's at. Fruit's always the best option, but not everyone can always get enough fruit. So that's why I give the backup plan. But is fruit the best? 100%, no doubt about it. If you get enough carbohydrate calories. It's all about getting enough calories, man. It's all about putting enough fuel in the tank. Thanks for watching. Post your comments down below. Answer the question. Next question. Boom. Hit it. Thanks for watching.